first step is to visit www.century.edu. This will take you to the Century College website. Select the Admissions tab toward the top of the page. Next, select First Time Student and then select Apply Online. When you get to this page, if you already have a STAR ID, go ahead and log in. If you have a STAR ID, but you've forgotten what it is and what the password is, go ahead and click Log In as well. There will be an option for you to retrieve your STAR ID and your password. If you've never created a STAR ID before, select Create STAR ID. After you've logged in, this will be the first page that you see. It's very important for you to know that anything that has a red asterisk next to it is required. If it doesn't have a red asterisk, feel free to skip it. This will save you a lot of time as you go through the application. Enter your name and email address. These two parts do not have a red asterisk, so you can select Next. Again, Next. Here, select Continue to Citizenship. This is required, so you want to select the option that applies to you. Continue to Contact. Residency status is required. Address is required. And phone number is required. When you get to step four, you want to make sure you select yes because you are currently a high school student. If you select no, it will take you to a different application. So select yes. Then select the high school that applies to you. Go ahead and put in your graduation month and year. All of these next steps are not required because they don't have a red asterisk. So skip these steps to save you a lot of time. Same here, skip this step as well. Please complete the demographic information page. When you get to this step, where it asks you which semester you would like to start classes, select the semester that applies to you. If you are taking a class in the fall, you want to select fall semester. If it's in the spring, select spring semester. If you are confused on which option to select, please talk to your instructor for clarification. On this step, you want to make sure you select Post-Secondary Enrollment Options, PSEO. On this step, you will select Complete Courses and Transfer Without a Degree and Part-Time Student. Skip the major, it's not required. Now, this is one of the most important steps. It's going to ask you where you intend to receive services while a student. Select Century in the high school. Select the action that applies to you here. Most of you will select no because you've never done concurrent enrollment classes here before. Skip these next steps. Then review your information to make sure that it is correct. If everything is correct, continue to submit application. Before you submit the application, you must enter the appropriate school promo code for your high school in the promo code box. If you do not know your promo code, please ask your instructor. Once you enter the code, select validate promo code. The last step you have to do before completing the application is to select this box right here. Down below, put in your password for your STAR ID. Not the STAR ID itself, but the password. After you put in your password, click on Submit Selected Application. 
It's going to load for a couple seconds and this means that it's successful. If it says in progress, pending, or anything related to those words, that means that you are done and you're good to go. Go ahead and log out. You have completed the application.